Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Cortez, joined by James Burns and Ron Augustini of FrontRowPreps.com, powered by Chicken Ranch Casino. Time now, however, for our weekly predictions, or we should say prediction, because we're the down to one, one team. One game. Brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. And fellas, as you know, anywhere we watch high school football, and this week it's Hillmar, you can find a Golden Bear Physical Therapy facility near you. Okay. For the state championship, Hillmar versus Strathmore, a rematch of last year's NorCal play-in game. Let's cut to the chase, first of all. We'll break it down in just a little bit. Who do you like in this game? Hillmar, all the way. Hillmar, got to go with the Yellow Jackets at home. Hillmar, big. Hillmar High School, which is 12 and two. Strathmore comes in 13 and one. However, it's a lot like Denaire and Santee a couple of weeks ago for the CIF Division 7 AA title. Santee just hadn't played anybody. It's kind of the same thing we're getting from Strathmore. If you look at their max prep strength of schedule ranking, they average about, a, the Strathmore's opponents average about a 711 ranking. That's kind of in the neighborhood of LeGrand. Uh, you know, one of, the, one of the weaker Southern League teams. So I don't, I don't know that they've, they've ever faced an opponent like Hillmar this season. Hillmar's ranked number 72 in, in, 72 the, state, in the state those, in those same rankings. Uh, you know, and Hillmar has come through the TBL, and we've talked all season long about how the TBL has returned to uh, and has, has kind of lived up to that billing of being the, the toughest small school conference in the state. Um, you got teams like Escalon, Modesto Christian, and Ribbon all ranked in that 150 mm -hmm. range. Uh, you know, Strathmore hasn't seen a team like that in that in that range no. at all this season. Now, Strathmore did beat Hillmar in the regional last year, 53-52 in double overtime. That has not been forgotten by the Hillmar team. Justin Renfro told me after the game last week, he's never forgotten that game or the score. <laughs> and uh, I think they're going to come out here with a, with a mission in mind. We had a chance to sit down with Trevor Crowley this week. We talked with, with Renfro last week. We had a chance to Renfro. talk with, with Isaac Sharp. Uh, none of them really care so much about the state bowl. I mean, that's going to be, that'll be the cherry on top. They really want a piece of Strathmore. <laughs> yeah. And even when they yeah. were preparing for East Nick, they really wanted Strathmore. And, you know, it, teams have to be, we got to be careful looking ahead. But they understood that that, that, that is the carrot. Yeah. They're yeah. chasing, they're chasing Strathmore. And Isaac Sharp said as much when he was honored as the American Chevrolet Player of the Week two weeks ago. Well, it comes down to the way they lost that game last year. You know, they were down early, battled back, took a big lead, and were within minutes. I mean, 60, 70 seconds of, of celebrating a NorCal Bull birth mm -hmm. here on the home field. And they had that fumble inside their own 10-yard line by Renfro uh, that allowed Strathmore to tie the game up, sent it to overtime. And once you get to overtime, really, you know, it's mm -hmm. it's anyone's game. And Another motivation for him, Mark, is this is the one thing they have not done yet, is to win a state title. They've, they've checked every other box yeah. mm -hmm. you know, in, with their this, success over the years. Yeah. They haven't done this, and this class has a chance to do it. It's, it will be special. Yes. yes. So let's break down the matchup between mm -hmm. Strathmore and Hillmore a little bit here. Uh, we've talked a lot this season about the thunder and lightning component for the Yellow Jackets. The lightning being Isaac Sharp, who has 1,600 yards rushing this year. And thunder, Justin Renfro, who will probably will go over 1,000 yards this week. He just needs 14 more. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would bet that he does it, yeah. barring a sprained ankle or something calamitous like that. Uh, Strathmore also has kind of a thunder and lightning component. Yeah, Strathmore will attack you with with, with five different backs. Uh, the primary back, the primary uh, focus, I guess, for the Hillmar defense is going to be their their uh, their speed merchant, Alonzo Azevedo. Almost 1,800 yards on the ground, averaging about nine yards a carry. Um, you know, he was a role player. He was sort of the 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 wingman last year for Strathmore behind their 2,000 yard back. This year, uh, you know, he's he's lived up, lived up to the hype. He's gonna be the one to watch. And of course, they have four other backs, uh, Alcantar, Onsures, Moreno, and Bravo, who kind of share the thunder portion of that. They're kind of the, the heavy yeah. lifters inside. Yeah, the Spartans won't throw much. This is gonna be a game that's gonna be won or lost in the trenches. They're a, they're a run heavy team. But that Strathmore team is running into a team that is red hot right now they're peaking at the right time of the year and just like they did last year yeah yeah i mean you remember they're they're separated by five points from 14 and 0 right now two tough losses in the tvl they lost 23 to 21 <clears throat> to ripon the co-champion of the trans valley league and they lost 24 21 to modesto christian the other co-champ i doubt the way hillmar's playing right now that they would lose to either team right now 
No. no. Yeah, and you know it, what, what's been great about this run is, I mean, they've been putting up a lot of points and, and finishing with a lot of running clock victories, mm -hmm. but that is as much a testament to the defense as it is the offense. Right. I mean, we we were there at Joe Debley the night they won a Division Six section mm -hmm. championship, and Michael Camps, who's been probably who's been a Player of the Year candidate Absolutely. and has run wild on just about everybody this season, came over to the Ripon Christian sideline and begged that staff to stop running the ball, Brian. You know. Yeah. And he's, and he's, he's a quarterback. Everything out. He's a quarterback that loves to fly up and hit the ball, and that is that is everybody on that Yellow Jacket defense right now. They swarm to the football. Mm -hmm. Question mark it is about Brian Mulan tonight, uh, Friday, Saturday night, because he rolled his ankle uh, early in the uh, last week's game against East Nicholas. So they think he'll be able to play, but we don't. We I would bet that. he's going to play. He's going to play. He's not yeah, going to okay. miss out on that. Okay. Youth, adrenaline, chance to play in a state title mm -hmm. game, uh, finish out your career. He's a senior, right? Yes. You finish out your career here at home. Uh, yeah. In the biggest game of your life, I think he'll. I, I think he'll I think be. He'll be I here. think he'll be a difference maker. I think with all the attention that Sharp and Renfro are going to get, uh, he and Crowley could have a big, big night. And they were off to a great start, wow. right? Last Beyond had scored two touchdowns already <laughs> in, the, in the first yeah, quarter, and, right? And, yes. And, yeah. And, and he uh, was injured as he went into the end zone for the second one. Kid is quick and just barely starting to learn about his ability on the football field. He's a soccer player. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a great striker mm -hmm. um, and has a nose for the goal. Mm -hmm. and, and as it turns out, he has a nose for the end zone as well. Yeah. So. I'm going to put my money, though, on Justin Renfro. You know, he's been hot in the postseason. He had 100-plus yeah. yards against Escalon, 100-plus yards against Ripon Christian, 100-plus yards against East Nicholas. Uh, I say the trend continues man, because man. he is a man on a mission. Yes, oh, he, he is. His impact. And he's is wired incredible. differently. Oh, you know. Oh yes, his impact is incredible on both sides of the ball. As an inside linebacker, he dominated East Nicholas last week. Just dictated everything that happened in that game. One of their thousand-yard rushers for East Nick tried to go up the middle on pretty simple dive play. He was met by Renfro. <laughs> I mean, there is video of that hit. Uh, Take a look at it if you can if you can find it. We have met the enemy. Yeah. And his name is Justin Renfro. Whoa. Well, Big I, time hit at any brand level. Brand name. Yeah. And let's call a spade a spade. It was his fumble last year yeah. that That's cost right. Hilmar yeah. a chance at a NorCal yeah. Regional Bowl game. And he knows it. He, he owns he up to that. Knows. Yeah. He owns up to that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. keep your eyes on number 32. Yeah, <laughs> so we all like Hilmar here for, what is this? This is the state, what, what division? Division 6 double A. 6 double A. Yeah. So CIF state. Six double A state championship football game here Saturday night, 6 p.m. in McSweeney Field. The Strathmore Spartans, 13 1, take on the host Hillmar Yellow Jackets, 12 2, in what we think is just going to be a coronation for Hillmar High School. So, for James Burns, Ron Augustini, I'm Joe Cortez of FrontRowPreps.com. Thank you for stopping by.